Hi everyone, thanks for joining me once again. My name's Anthony Bitzel, professional scalper, professional day trader and professional trader, <laughs> all of them. Let me ask you a question. What for you is, what constitutes the perfect trade? What is the perfect trade for you? I'm going to talk you through in a minute what the perfect trade is for me. I'm going to talk you through the chart that I've got behind me and I'm going to show you the perfect trade. And this is a trade that I use, that I take on a regular basis using the gold system, Ant's gold system. And they appear on every sort of market. So this trade that I'm going to show you today appeared on the Dow Jones right at the beginning of January in 24. And they appear every day. Now, you can't take the same trade all the time. What I mean by that is you can't take the same trade on every single candlestick because every candlestick is different. But certain candlesticks appear at a regular juncture in the chart cycle. OK, so what I began to become an expert at was, you know, I mean, obviously it's, it's scalping, but it's more than that. It's working out based on watching the price action. Where is the price in relation to the market cycle? You know, what constitutes a market cycle first? Where is it in the cycle? And when it's at the perfect juncture with all the right signals, then you've got the possibility of the perfect trade. And I'm going to talk you through, as I say this in a minute, in a bit more detail. But the perfect trade to, to me is one that starts off really well. So you go into profit pretty much straight away and you stay in profit for the whole trade. And the profit that you've got grows throughout the trade, pretty much throughout it. You never get a, a, a straight line or very rarely get a straight line. You've got some zigzags in there, but it stays in profit for the whole trade and you exit at the end of the candlestick. That's got to be the simplest way of trading and the best way of trading, hasn't it? And how about if it gives you a 10 to 1 reward to risk? <laughs> yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Well, that's what happened here. And it was bigger than 10 to 1, actually. But um, yeah, uh, who's counting? Um, <laughs> Well, you will be counting, no doubt. Um, but, you know, when people talk about scalping, I scalp. I, sc I always scalp. And actually, all day traders scalp. It's, you know, when you talk about scalping, you're talking about little chunks taken off the market, aren't you? And, you, you know, with day trading, you're taking little chunks. Now, you've got a trading time frame. And, you know, you might be scalping the trading time frame as well, but you're mainly scalping the master time frame, which is a higher time frame. So you're taking partial candlesticks um, profits from partial candlesticks on a master time frame and you're scalping the lower time frame. And, you know, you can't really judge perfectly um, where uh, the market is going to be in 10 candle, candlestick time. You can't do that. Um, well, I can't do that, which generally means that you can't accurately do it because there's a lot of process for the market to go through between now and 10 minutes time. But what you can do is you can find parts in the market where the next candlestick is predictable fairly predictable and with the right tools that I take you through with my gold system um, with the right tools you can take the trades at the right time and I find that it gives me a fantastic win percentage so not only are you getting a good reward to risk a very good reward to risk but you're also getting a high win percentage and it's going into profit straight away now then 
Are you interested in that? <laughs> I thought you might be. Tell me, by the way, what do you want out of these videos? What can I do for you in these videos that you're not already getting? And just let me know by these comments below. Um, but I'm going to talk you through these trades now. And as I say, they do come up on a regular basis. And I want you to be able to take advantage of these because these are golden candlesticks. 10 to 1 reward to risk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you're soon going to be looking at increasing your pot of money with that type of trade. And they come up on a regular basis. So let's have a look at these trades now. Right, so here we go. Here's the charts. And this is the Dow, as I say, and it's the 3rd of January. And OK, this is the trade. This is the trade here. This is the type of candlestick that will make your day, your week, your month, <laughs> even your year. You know, this is the type of candlestick to look for. And it turns up, as I say, at specific times in the market cycle. And it looks you know, a certain way. It's very big and very red on this occasion, but it could have been big and green. And it's all in relation to this river of value as well. It needs to be close, very close to this river of value as it is here. So let's have a look at what we got here. The market opened here and you got a big red candlestick at this juncture, came down, went back up and then started to come back down again. OK, this is a convincing red candlestick. You see the, uh, the river of value has been sloping down and so it's spitting price out below okay but the key points on here are this particular red candlestick closed below the 8 EMA and this is by the way my master time frame this is the trading time frame that I that I, I call it trading time frame master time frame but actually when I get the opportunity I will trade the master time frame and this was ideal here so price came down closed below the 8 EMA below the river of value and then crucially it went up to start off with okay tiny little wick left on this candlestick before the minutest little bit of red came in and that's the entry signal. So you're below the ATMA, you're below the river of value, therefore you have protection in the form of resistance that is formed by the river. You've also got the high of the candlestick at this stage and you've got the open and you've got the tiniest little bit of red and then it was a, a short from there. So this had a high this candlestick 493 it had an open 489 so 489 493 and therefore the stop was four points well actually five points by the time you've allowed for a little bit of um, flexibility but anyway you get the picture and it closed at 439 so it was a win at the end of the candlestick. You know, there's no, uh, I'm, uh, should I take profit? Should I not? It, you know, with these, I've, I've worked out this method based on thousands of trades. And the best way to trade these type of candlesticks is to leave them until the end of the candlestick. So in this case, this was the five minute chart. I waited five minutes and exit here and the wind's 50 points let's say you had a four point stop um the risk and reward therefore on this is 12 to 1 reward to risk 12 to 1 you know if you're only risking 0.1% of your account per trade um, because you're starting then you made 1% in five minutes and you can't do that anywhere else in the world. <laughs> this is fantastic stuff. Uh, and on this occasion, you could see it like 
I was scalping the 30 minute chart because the 30 minutes chart on this occasion started here, well started here and you know started or the one hour chart started up uh, here, went up here and you know that on this occasion for this particular candlestick would have been the tail at the top and you get repeated tails here and then it goes down below the river of value and just there is the entry. Now how fantastic is this? If you only took these type of trades, how good a trader are you going to be? How good a scalper are you going to be? The On the one minute chart, let's have a look. So this is the one minute chart and that you know, that effectively was the five minutes in, in there. And um, I found myself when I was just trading the one minute chart, exiting after the first candlestick, which is fine. But so on the one minute chart, this effectively is the same trade as this one, this one and this one red bar comes down below the 8 EMA, puts in a tiny little tail, then turns red and you've got a win. On this occasion it was 3 to 1 reward to risk and it, you could have got probably 4 or 5. And there was another one here, tiny little tail on the top, turned red and there you go. But overall, you're better off looking, you know, staying in a trade for a bit longer. And that's the five minute chart that produced the uh, 10, 12 to 1 reward to, to risk. And these are the trades that I'm looking for. So let's have a look at this again. So that's the first candlestick of the series here. Goes up, closes just below the 20 EMA. And then the, the next candlestick opens up and turns red. Okay, so that closed below the 20, went red and came down. Okay, and it came down and closed below the river of value. So we're in business here. Now, the first thing I'm looking at at the end of this candlestick is how close is it to the river of value? How close to the ATMA? It, and that's very close. So I need the this candlestick to close below the ATMA. I need that. I need it to be close to the river of value. And then I need um, the confirmation that the support and resistance or resistance in this case has been broken. And what happens when, when that happens is the market goes up, tests it and then goes back down. So I'm looking for that to happen for it to leave a tiny little wick and then to go red. Um, and that's what happened with that particular trade. So that's how it transpired. It, the market has a habit of repeating itself. If you, know, if you took a, a trade here and went red after this tail, then you'd have ended up in profit, but there was a lower likelihood of this being still fairly high, but a lower likelihood of this being a red candlestick. Here, you're almost certain with all the factors that you can't see on the screen here, with all the factors in place, um, you know, the, the uh, likelihood was that that would be a red candlestick. But because you've got the river of value in the way of your, you know, a loss, you've got the high of the candlestick up here as well and the open here. Now, what's crucial here is that this wick is small. OK, if the wick went right up here and that would happen before generally before the candlestick goes red, um, if the wick was up here, then the risk is probably too high and you're not going to get this sort of uh, result. So you're not going to get 10 to 1, that's probably for certain. You might get 1 to 1, you might get 2 to 1, but scalping and day trading is about good re reward to risk as well as high percentage, you know, win loss. 
they're the crucial factors in scalping and in day trading and that's what we need to be looking for and that's what I got here. So I'm Anthony Beardsall, Excellence Assured Trading Academy is where I work and I teach day trading and scalping and I'm really hoping that I've offered some value for you here. There's some key points key points for you to note from that you know the size of the wick the approximate you know proximity to the river of value and you know there are other factors as well that I haven't gone into but there's some key stuff in there for you to note and if you only focus on reward to risk and probability and in order to get the probability, you need to understand trading. And, you know, that's where we start with my trading, with my training. Um, if you only know those three factors and build your trades around that, then, you know, I think you'll become a winning trader. So my name is Anthony Beardsall. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Ask any questions below and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks ever so much. See you on the next one. Bye.